All right, so I'm going to use R within the R Studio program to generate some histograms. And the way I'm going to do this is by using this R normal function. So I have this array X, and I'm going to populate the array with 100 random numbers drawn from a normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. All right, so that's what this one line of, of R code does. And the second line of my code is going to uh, simply plot that data, x, and histogram. I tell it, and um, bins. So that's all that I'm doing. And when I select both of these lines, hit Control R, it will generate a new set of 100 random numbers drawn from a standard normal distribution, and then plots them up in a histogram. What I'd like to do is look at this histogram and ask ourselves, how easy is it for us to assess the shape of this distribution and say, yeah, that looks about normal or no, it doesn't. Now we have 100 data points, which in some cases is a lot of data. Other cases, it's not. Uh, but let's think of it as just a typical amount of data we might have collected. Uh, maybe these are the residuals from our best fit linear regression, uh, or it could be 100 measurements of the exact same thing. Uh, now, look at this histogram. What do you think? Well, it looks a pretty symmetric and reasonably shaped. Of course, we see a couple of bins over here that have no data in it whatsoever. But that kind of thing happens. Let's run it again. So I'll just keep hitting Control-R. Every time I do it, it runs it again. Oh, now that looks a little bit different. I see quite a few uh, out of uh, extreme data points at, at, at the extreme right. But other than that, it still looks like a reasonable shape. Oh, now, is that skewed? If you were to look at this histogram, would you say that that is symmetric or skewed? Right? This one, that, to me, definitely looks like it's skewed to the right. This was all you had, this one set of data. Would you look at that histogram and say, oh, yeah, that's normal. Sure, no problem. Or would you think, well, maybe it's skewed. Right? Keep going. Well, it looks like it's skewed to the left on this one. Um, there is a little bit fatter and the tails are kind of light. Um, again, this one looks maybe a little skewed. Uh, that one looks like the middle is the narrower and the tails are a little bit heavier. Uh, you can keep going and doing this a whole bunch of times and everyone looks different, right? And I'm not, wow, look at that one. You might even look at this one and say it's bimodal, a bimodal distribution. But it's not, right? These are 100 random numbers drawn from a normal distribution. But because you only have 100 data points, uh, plotting them in a histogram with 10 bins means that some of them only have a few data points in each bin and others have 10 or 20 in each bin. But there's a lot of variability, natural, normal variability that comes from having random numbers. Now, if we had a lot more data points, let me change this to 1,000 data points and run it again. Now we're going to see a much more symmetric, stable-looking histogram. Right? But even still, the, the shape is changing. Um, you, know, you might think it looks symmetric. That one looks pretty darn symmetric to me. Uh, other times, less so. But it's a lot better with a lot more data points. Histograms work reasonably well. That one looks kind of skewed to me. But maybe not a lot, just a little bit skewed. Uh, histograms work a lot better if you have a lot of data. If you don't have much data, then they start getting um, much more um, random. So my lesson is histograms uh, can be difficult to assess just by looking at their shapes. Besides the fact that the starting point and the Number of bins is arbitrary choice of the plotting and it affects the way you interpret the shape. Just the randomness of how many you'll end up in each bin also affects the, the, your interpretation of the shape. So histogram, while it's always worthwhile to plot the data this way, uh, it's hard to do any kind of formal assessment of that shape.